Hi, this is Lana Lisa Williams, aka Survival Woman, and um, I drove almost an hour from where I live near Bakersfield, California, in the Central Valley, to find the prison where my husband is, because I've never been here. My husband, Jose Rojel Mendiola, AI4055, is his prison number. He was transferred from a lovely private Geo International prison to a big, big old cold state prison, a huge complex in the middle of nowhere in Corcoran, California, Corcoran State Prison. So I'm at the gates of the prison. Um, I haven't seen my husband in almost a year because of COVID. And his last two letters, he said it was really freaky because COVID was raging through the prison like wildfire. And he didn't feel safe. And he said, well, it's not my choice to make to be safe. So I thought I should just drive out here. And it says no parking anytime. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to get in trouble. And um, I just wanted to take a picture of where he is. And I'm a little scared because I'll get in trouble. I have a way of doing that. I'm a journalist, you know. Governor Gavin Newsom, I think you've never been to this prison. Not to the gates, even. I drove past cows and old, creepy, abandoned, ruined agricultural buildings and huge fields of nothing and reservoirs and bridges and orchards of trees. And I'm pretty sure you've never come here. And I've asked you, please set my husband free. I need him. He needs me. He doesn't have much time left on his sentence. He was very young when he was sentenced for something he did when he was a teenager, which wasn't murder or rape. Please set him free, Governor Newsom. Please come to this prison and see how he's living during a pandemic with COVID inside. And he can't even tell me how bad it is. And I take a risk just driving here. I could be arrested any second because I'm parked where it says no parking anytime. Okay, so I'm going to get out and just show you a picture of the prison in the distance and hopefully I won't get in trouble. Put on my sunglasses. Please, Governor Newsom, I have been writing you and calling and emailing for two years and you never once answered me and I know you're having problems with the whole COVID thing, but so are the prisoners who are stuck in the prison with it. So set my husband free. We're going to go look at the prison and then I'll be signing off and driving home because I'm scared. All right, and I, I could look better, but you know. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera around. Well, if I can get out. All right, here I am. And that's it. In the distance, you can see part of it's huge. When I was driving by it, I couldn't believe how huge it was, this prison, Corcoran State Prison in California. It's huge. And there it is in the distance with all those guard towers around it. Governor Newsom, why did you shut down all the private prisons? My husband had a beautiful prison with a dormitory and he could walk in the halls and have programs and education and chaplains and good food. Why did you move him to an old, old state prison where he shares a cell with one other person and never gets to go out in the yard? And I haven't, you've closed down all visitations since last March. It's been almost a year since I could come and visit him. Why did you do that? It wasn't for the prisoners' interest that you closed those private prisons. They had it way better then. Look at that in the distance. Can you see the towers? On these cars driving by are people coming off work because it's a change of shift. And this is the gate. There's one car worker leaving. I used to work in a prison. And it was a geo prison in Adelanto. And it was a private prison. And I'm gonna take a picture of the gate. There we are, CSP, California State Prison Corcoran. And there's the other side over there. And you can see weird industrial buildings in the background. And there's my car. And Jose, I miss you so much. And I love you. And I'm doing my best to get you out of here. Not only you, but other prisoners who don't have much time left on their sentence. 
they need better than this. And I'm too scared to drive down that road where the cars are coming from. But you can see the prison in the distance. Jose, I miss you. Governor Newsom, please hear me, answer me, set Jose free. This is Lana Lisa Williams at Corcoran State Prison in California as people are leaving their shift to go home. I know what that's like. I used to work in a prison. Signing off and saying, please, Governor Newsom, hear us, we who ask for our families to be free because of COVID. Don't let him die in there. Goodbye. Hope you're having a better day than I am, Governor. And I hope you come here someday. I will meet you here anytime. Lana Lisa Williams saying, thank you, Jesus, for getting me here safely. And now I'm going home. If I can figure out how to turn off my camera. <laughs>